Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach J. Dan back with another Every Marvel Legends video. This time we're talking about every build a figure for Marvel Legends. So Toy Biz started off the build of figures, and their first build of figure was Galactus. And Galactus took these characters right here to build him. Of course, there were some variants, but they all built the same figure. The next figure was the Sentinel build of figure. And again, you had a couple of variants in here, the Angel and the Cyclops. And matter of fact, for some odd reason, Mystique and Omega Red had the same build of figure piece as well. So here is the Apocalypse build a figure from the Toy Biz days. And there was two different sets. Uh, there were some variants that you could get in the Apocalypse way. The interesting thing is there were two different Apocalypses that you could build. And the parts were very randomly separated into the two different variants. So here's the blue variant. So the blue main version that you got. And here is the black variant. You see his arms and legs have the black color to them. So here are the variant figures and you didn't have to buy the variants to get the variant apocalypse. So I'm not sure why they did that with these figures. So it made it very hard to actually get the same color apocalypse uh, for each arm and leg and whatnot if you were shopping out in separate stores. So then you got Onslaught, which is probably one of the worst of the Toy Biz build of figures because it didn't really look like the comic version. But again, this one had several variants in it. You had the Abomination and the Green Goblin and the Loki, all three having variant figures, but those variants didn't give us any kind of different build of figure piece. And here is the Walmart exclusive Giant Man build of figure. Probably one of the most sought after build of figures that they have out there. And also one of the ones that they are wanting Hasbro to redo very often. There were several variants in this wave, but they all still built the exact same build of figure. There were four different centuries, two different AOA Wolverines, and that is it. And then you had Mojo. And in the Mojo Wave, you actually had um, variants for the Baron Zemo, the Falcon. Psylocke's variant was a very rare variant, so very, very few people ever got that one. And so was Luke Cage's silver variant. And then Iron Man had a gold variant. So the only one that did not have a variant was Longshot. And then one of the favorites for most people is Modok. And again, Modok had a lot of variants as well. Uh, for the figures, you had the <clears throat> Captain Marvel variant, which got Jenna's veil. You had the Iron Man variant, which gave you Destroyer. You had several Wasp variants, but the rare one was the blue one. Very rare. You had a silver version of Moon Knight, and you had a black costume version of Spider-Woman. So in this wave, the only one that did not have a variant was the Better A Bill. But again, none of these variants ever actually came with a different build of figure. It's just, you could still build the same build of figure. So then you had also a pit build of figure that was from the Legendary Heroes line, which was also a Marvel wave, or Legends type wave. So I'm gonna count that one in this, in this video. And there were several variants in this wave as well. You had the uh, Two different savage dragons and two different um, super patriots. And then you had Monkey Man as a build a figure. And again, you had a couple variants of Anne O'Brien and Judge 
death. Yep. So there's your monkey man. So here are all of the Toy Biz build a figures. So you can compare them all. So when Hasbro took over building Marvel Legends instead of Toy Biz, Annihilus became their very first build a figure. In this wave, there was one Fox X Men movie figure, and it was X 3s Beast. So that was the very first time that we'd seen a Fox X Men property show up in the Marvel Legends. There were two variants in this wave. Um, one Iron Man, Ultimate Iron Man, that shows he doesn't have his helmet on. The other one with the helmet in a separate spot in the package. And there was two different Planet Hulks, one with a silver arm and one without. Now, I'm not sure what the difference was between those packages. If it was the pink versus the purple, I'll show you here in a second. You guys let me know. But as you see, uh, Emma actually comes with one of the arms, so I'm going to assume that that's not the case. So here you see the actual purple version of the build a figure versus the pink. So let me know how they actually had made this happen. And then you had the blob build a figure, which again had a couple X3 figures with Gene and and um, Juggernaut. This wave also had variants for Yellow Jacket, Gene, and Quicksilver. Ronin Accuser build a figure wave was next. This was a Fantastic Force exclusive wave or, or specific wave. No variants in it. And you had to collect every figure to build this uh, build a figure, which is actually pretty interesting because that's eight figures to build this guy. I like the way they did that. Give you at least, you know, these days they give you a figure that doesn't even have a build a figure piece in it at all. But, you know, to let, to let everybody have something is, is pretty important to me. Then you had the Sony Sandman Build-A-Figure Wave. This was all movie-based. And then you had the Queen Brood Build-A-Figure. Again, no variants in this wave except for Hydra and... Marvel Girl. And again, you got another X3 figure in this way with the Colossus. Then Fang Foom built a figure wave. The only variant when, in this one was the Green Hulk, or the classic Hulk that came out, which is a variant of the Gray Hulk. They were planning on doing more, but they just didn't do it. And this could also be picked up as a SDCC exclusive box set and then you have the target exclusive red hulk build a figure wave which had a variant for the spiral a gold variant and then you also had the yellow variant for wolverine so then you have the walmart exclusive aries build a figure had variants for Human Torch, and that's it. But this was a very rare wave right here. The, uh, especially the Crossbones figure became very expensive. Of course, when they re-released the Thor Ragnarok wave with another Ares in it, it ruined the price for this build -a figure So then we got the Nemesis build -a figure or Holocaust, which is Apocalypse's son. This was also a Walmart exclusive and came with a variant for Punisher and Daredevil. And again, neither one of these variants changed the build a figure at all. It's just a another figure out there that you'd have to search out and find. And here are all the first run of Hasbro's build a figure, so you compare them all. This is right after Toy Biz when Hasbro took over. And after this, there is a two-year hiatus before we see another Marvel Legend. So Marvel Legends took a break for a while and probably about two years hiatus and then they came back. And this is when the molds changed and you got the Terax build a figure here, which again this wave has several variants. Steve Rogers variant, Iron Man variant, Ghost Rider variant, 
kind of re-released the SDCC exclusive Thor figure. And then you have the Arnim Zola build a figure wave, which also have variants all in it. Uh, this one would build the regular Arnim Zola. So here, these all these figures would build that. And this one's the Spider-Man figure did not have a build a figure piece in it. And then when you collect the other side, you get to build the Red Skull faced Arnim Zola. And the legs and arms didn't change any, but the both heads did, or whatever you want to call it, the top piece, the mechanical piece of top. So you basically had to buy the different Dakin, Madam Hydra, and Pile Driver in order to get this guy. But then also you had the Big Time Spider Man, which did not have a build a figure piece. So then we got the Iron Monger Wave. And this particular wave was actually a all Iron Man wave. So we did finally end up getting another one of those here in 2022. We'll talk about that later, Ursa Major build a figure wave. But here you had Iron Patriot, Classic Iron Man, Ultron, James Rhodes as the Iron Patriot, Hero Cage Iron Man, and Mark 42 Iron Man. And then they started giving us these tiny build figures So Hit Monkey was the first tiny big build figure they gave us. And for some odd reason, three of the figures in this wave didn't even come with build figure pieces. The Archangel, the Wolverine, and the Cat. I love Hit Monkey, but to have him as a build figure was very disappointing. We've, we've been so used to these massive build figures over the years and it was bad enough whenever they gave us the Karak and Arm Zola because they were normal size as well but now they started giving us these tiny ones. It's like they're cheaping out on us or something. Another tiny build figure was the Rocket Raccoon. Very rare one though because most of these figures were very hard to find. The only one that did not come with the build of no, nope, two of them didn't come with the build of figure piece, the Hawkeye and the Spidey. And our third tiny build of figure for the year was the Puck build of figure. And all you needed was three of these figures in order to build a build of figure. But the Wolverine just came with a stand instead of having a build of figure piece. But that Emma Frost became probably one of the most rare figures out there. So here's the first run of the return of Marvel Legends for Hasbro. After their first line and their two year hiatus. So the package has changed again. Here is the Mandroid Builder figure wave. And this was a movie wave. This was based off of Captain America, the Winter Soldier. And there you see the Mandroid build figure There are two variants here. The Soldier of Aim was actually the variant of the Baron Zemo. And the Agents of Hydra was actually the variant of Red Skull. And then right in the middle, you'll see that there was an actual World War II Captain America as well in this wave. So from the movie, you had your Black Widow and your Winter Soldier. And you'll see that this is called Marvel Legends Infinite Series. So this is where this new package come in. It's called Infinite Series. So the first thing we see is from the Amazing Spider-Man. So this was a Sony picture. There are two figures here right in the middle with the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man and the Electro figure from the movie. The rest of them are comic based. But there's your Ultimate Green Goblin build a figure. You'll see several figures that actually come with the same build a figure piece like the skyline sirens which was black cat and anya you have the deadliest foes which was the boomerang and the uh, ultimate beetle and you had the spawn of symbiotes which was the toxin and the carnage coming with the same build a figure piece and you also notice a walgreens exclusive agent venom figure here this was actually part of this wave as well even though you don't see build a figure at the very top of that when you look at the back of the package it had all the same characters on the back And then we got a MCU 
wave. Uh, there are two comic versions in here, but most of this wave is MCU for the group build a figure on the Guardians of the Galaxy. And then you had your Toys R Us exclusive Jubilee build a figure. And you had to have everyone except for Wolverine in order to build her. Another rare build a figure, but another disappointment because nobody wants to build tiny build a figures. They want to build the big guys. Put a figure like Jubilee in an individual pack and we'd be happy. Which they ended up doing later on. Now this one's an exciting way because you got to build two build figures out of this if you wanted to. You got to build the old man Thor with these group of figures, and you can also build the you can also build the Odin build a figure, which is what this wave was called. Or the All Father, I should say. So then you have the Hobgoblin build a figure wave. Again, another small figure, but really like this figure as well. And then the Thanos build a figure wave, which they went and ruined again by releasing this figure even better form in a Walmart exclusive. So there goes the value on this guy. And then we got the Hulkbuster build a figure from the MCU, which again lost its value because it was re released several, several times. And again, another build a figure that has lost its value because it got re released individually was the Ultron Prime build a figure. And here is the Rhino build a figure, which is pretty cool that they gave us two separate head sculpts. Don't really, would, would have rather had another head sculpt that actually had the eyes on the side of the mask, but really great build a figure another rare wave if you look out there for the price on these guys they're extremely high right now here are all the hasbro infinite series build figures this is the new packaging that a lot of people are taking the figures back and putting different build figure pieces in and returning them to the stores so this is new packaging So here's one of the re-releases that they did was uh, an overseas UK release or Australia exclusive release. They kind of repackaged all these guys up again and put out the Hulk Buster build a figure again. So then we have the Absorbing Man build a figure. And again, very cool what they did was giving us several parts, multiple arms, multiple heads. Very excited about that. And then the red onslaught build a figure, which is really cool that they gave us this, but then they'll later on release a magneto head for this guy. So another guy, the MCU giant man build a figure that will lose his value later on because he's been released so many times now. So here is the space venom build a figure. Really valuable one again. And here is the Abomination Builder figure, which came out after the SDCC exclusive one. This one does look better though. I like the color scheme on this one better than the SDCC one. But a very lackluster wave itself to build this guy. One of the favorites of everybody was the Juggernaut build a figure wave. But then again, they have re-released him again with more classic colors, so the value on this guy has dropped. But the wave itself was slap full of awesome figures, especially the Rogue, the Kitty, the Iceman, the Wolverine with a brown suit, and the Deadpool, and that Jean as well. So again, I'm gonna show this onslaught again because when they released that Kitty Pride, they gave us the Magneto head. And so there's the new onslaught build a figure. And then again, another re-release from SDCC was the Dormammu build a figure from the Doctor Strange wave. 
So here's another UK Australian release, and this was the Giant Man build a figure. So again, they just repackaged figures that we've already seen and put another build a figure piece in there for us to build a Giant Man again. Then we have the Sandman build a figure. And again, this is very exciting because they gave us multiple parts so you can change up the arms and the head. And then one of the stranger ones is this Titus build a figure because nobody really knew who Titus was, but he's really cool looking. So I'll accept him for this Guardians of the Galaxy wave. And then we have the Warlock build a figure. Really impressive wave. And then another strange one was for the MCU or the Sony verse of it was the Vulture build a figure wings. So then we have another small female figure, which was the Mantis MCU build a figure for this Guardians of the Galaxy wave. Of course, this is Guardians Volume 2. Then we have the Netflix Wave, which gave us the Man Thing build a figure. I was really surprised I didn't do a Kingpin Netflix build a figure or something like that. And then we have the Thor Ragnarok Wave, which gave us the Gladiator Hulk build a figure. And here's that Ares that dropped the price really low for us on our build a figure. And again, this is going to be another one that loses its value because they re released this build a figure overseas. This is the another female Okaye build a figure. Very disappointing. They could have done a man ape comic version because they later on do an MCU man ape. And then another one of our favorites is the lizard build a figure. And then there's another one that will lose its value later on because they re-release him in a better form in a box set for the 10 year wave. Thanos. So here's that Gladiator Hulk re released overseas, repackaged with other figures. So here's the Sasquatch Build a Figure Wave from the Deadpool. And this was probably one of the most disappointing Deadpools I've ever seen because it didn't have it. Look how empty that package looks. Then you get the Call of Obsidian Build a Figure Wave from the Avengers Infinity War. This is the Hasbro Apocalypse build a figure. Much better than the other Apocalypse from the Toy Biz days, which was very large, which is cool. It's kind of cool to make it look like he's growing. And here are the figures you had to build this guy. There were several Psylocks, one with purple, one with black hair. And then you had the multiple man that you could buy a bunch of to make three different versions with those different heads. Then you have the SP slash slash DR build a figure wave. You have the Monster Venom build a figure wave. You have the Sauron build a figure wave from the Devil's second wave. Here's another re release of a Th that Thanos Infinity War overseas. Here is the M'Baku, or the Man-Ape Build-A-Figure from MCU. The Kree Sentry Build-A-Figure for the Captain Marvel Wave. The King Camp Pen Build-A-Figure. 
very sought after because they gave us another head later on with the Professor X box set they allowed us to build the Shadow King you got the Thanos armor build figure from Avengers Endgame you got the Calib Caliban build a figure for the X-Men get the smoke or the smart hulk build a figure from endgame you got the multi-man build a figure from spider-man far from home so here we go with another x-force wave this is the wendigo build a figure wave based off the 80 years or celebrating the 80 years of marvel Here's that one to go and build a figure and all the figures it takes to build him, which is all six of them. Here we have our Bro Thor or our Fat Thor or whatever you want to call him from Avengers Infinity War. Got his axe there. You can see all this wave is MCU, so thank goodness. We have a Demogoblin build a figure wave. There's all your figures it takes to build him. Which again is all the figures. Here's a Super Scroll build a figure wave for Fantastic Four. So an all Fantastic Four wave again. Completely different costumes with their dark black and blue costumes here. You got the She-Hulk. You got the Doom as well. And of course, you can make several versions of your Super Scroll with and without the powered up arms. We have a Black Widow wave, which gives us the Crimson Dynamo build a figure. There's all your figures that it takes to build Crimson Dynamo. And the Taskmaster did not take any pieces to building. So here we are with the Game Reverse wave with the Game Reverse Abomination build a figure. You can see here with the package colors, the white ones are from the Game Reverse, the other ones are from the comics. We have a Sugar Man Build-A-Figure. This is our Age of Apocalypse Wave 1. It's a really neat Wave 1 and we were very concerned because some of these things just sat on the shelf forever and ever. We were just concerned whether we are going to get a Wave 2, but we will see later on. We did. Here's another Deadpool wave, and we've got our strong guy build a figure. So there you go with all your figures it takes to build him. And it was all the figures. So another UK release in 2020. Gave us our armored Thanos. And all these MCU figures in order to build him. Here we go with a Venom Wave that allowed us to build the Venom Pool build figure, which I've been told is a Game Reverse figure in and of itself. You do have a movie Venom in this wave as well. I would have loved to have seen a Tom Hardy head with the symbiote coming off with that particular sculpt, but otherwise this wave is pretty awesome. There's all your figures in the wave, all symbiotes except for Morbius. Here we go with another Game Reverse wave. This time we have a Joe Fixit build a figure from the Game Reverse. And again, you can tell with the white colored boxes, there were two versions for the Game Reverse with the Cap and Iron Man, which are just repaints from what we had in Wave 1. And otherwise, you have comic book based figures. Here we go with a Spider Man Wave 1 in 2020 with a Stilt Man build a figure. They were very smart with this to allow us to have an army builder with the hand ninjas to allow us to have more and more legs in each package to get him taller and taller. It's a really cool Spider-Man wave there from the Into the Spider-Verse. One, two, three, four figures from Into the Spider-Verse and the other two were comic based. An all MC wave of the Eternals with the Gilgamesh build a figure. It's a really cool wave there for him and not a bad movie. But it did peg warm because the figures did get leaked and released before the movie ever hit. 
Bring on the bad guy's way, we have a Zimanu Build-A-Figure, all comic based, all bad guys, so we got a House of X Powers of Ten wave with a Tri-Sentinel Build-A-Figure, and really cool that most of the figures in this wave actually had alternate heads, so you could actually make multiple figures here, you can see the Wolverine with the old head with a beard. You have the Maury McTaggart, so you can actually switch out the arms and the face. You got the Professor X with and without the helmet. First Marvel Legend with his eyes closed. Marvel Girl did not have any kind of other variant, and neither did Magneto, but you see the Omega Sentinel did, and Cyclops also had a blast version head. So there's all your figures, and there's your Tri Sentinel build a figure. Here's that Iron Man wave I was talking about earlier, and it is the Ursa Major Build-A-Figure wave. So really cool, we're getting another Iron Man wave here, or got one, I should say. And funny, we had Ultron in the last Iron Man wave, but we got him again. Got Ironheart, Riri Williams, Modular Iron Man, Hologram Iron Man, Stealth Iron Man. We had a Vault Guardsman, Type A Army Builder type there, and then another version of another member of the Winter Guard with Dark Star to go along with our Ursa Major. Got an MC wave of Shane Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Also had some comic book based figures in here. This is a Mr. Hyde build a figure wave. And we did have one game reverse cap in there as well, the Civil Warrior. So every figure did need to be had in order to get the build a figure for Mr. Hyde. And check out those eyes and teeth. That is awesome looking. And this is the way I like it. An all MCU way. In this case, all Disney Plus shows. We got the Captain America flight gear build a figure for the Falcon Cap. So there is the flight gear itself with the stand. You got your Loki. Four figures from Captain America, or I should say Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and two figures from the WandaVision. Another Disney Plus All Wave with the What If Wave Watch or Build a Figure. There you go with all animated except for uh, Sylvie from Loki. So interesting they threw Sylvie in this wave. There's all the piece it took, six out of the seven. Not the zombie cap, which was the best figure in the wave. You got another Spider Man wave. This one was based off of the Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, it was an armadillo builder figure. And very lackluster for the movie itself compared to what we actually got in the movie, but they say we're going to get some of those figures from the movie hopefully soon. But there's your armadillo builder figure. You do have four figures from the movie. Again, two different versions of Spider-Man and Doctor Strange and J. Jonah Jameson. And then you have a Gamer vs. Miles and two comic based figures. So there's that wave, and one of the Spideys did not even have any build a figure pieces or tentacles, which upset me. So, as I said, only six figures to build him. Here's that second Age of Apocalypse wave I was talking about with a Colossus build a figure. So, that's awesome. And they call this a bad hair day. We have a Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness wave. With the Rentra build a figure. If you saw the movie, he does not play a huge role in it, so interesting that that was our build a figure. But there he is, nice Minotaur with his earrings. There's that full wave, half comic, half uh, MCU, I should say mostly MCU. We have an X Men wave here with the Bone Breaker build a figure on his tank treads there. There he is, looking good, got the gun in hand, glass can go up and down, mohawk. This is definitely a needed build a figure right here. Got a different version of Wolverine with his blood or red claws and another version of Sabretooth, kind of skinny for me. But everybody else in this wave I love, especially Maggot and Havoc. And I love the siren, but I wish we would have got an extra head with her screaming. It's a really cool wave right there.
we have the controller build a figure here crazy looking face we got this thing on a Thanos body got these weird controls in his hands fisted hand on the other side got an extra version of hand that he can actually have open as well and there is all the figures in that wave you need all of them except for Iron Man to build this guy so let's keep on going on with some more movie figures here with the Thor Love and Thunder Korg build a figure takes six figures to build him there are seven in the wave, so the extra Thor there with the gold does not have a build a figure piece. Right there, you can see that. There is your Korg. Nice belt. And there's that full wave. All MCU, I love that. Here we go with the last Disney Plus wave that we have for this video, which is not completed yet. They did show a couple of Moon Knight figures. A couple of Hawkeye figures. So, so far this is what we know for this wave. And we got even more figures to come. But there is the build a figure for the Infinity Ultron. Which is also Vision underneath that mask. Taking over the Ultron body. So pretty cool build a figure there. So here is that side artwork for that Infinity Ultron wave. We got the Atuma build a figure wave from the Black Panther 2 movie. Wakanda Forever. So we got the MCU build a figure of Atuma. Got two different weapons he comes with the big old massive hammerhead skull there on his head. Great sculpt. Here's the full wave. All the figures you get, you get a couple comics and mostly MCU. The six figures it takes to build, they are plastic free. Back of the package there. We got a Khonshu build a figure from the Moon Knight show. There he is in scale compared to these six inch Moon Knights, so he's massive. And I have to say, I would, if I still had a Moon Knight shelf, put this on there as a regular comp based because it looks good either way. Very nice detail on this. Great sculpt. Love that staff he comes with, the floating head. Love that beak. This is such a cool design. So yeah, it was a what if wave or a Disney Plus wave in order to build that Khonshu. Again, plastic repackaging. You get the Howard the Duck, Red Skull, Zombie Iron Man, Zombie Scarlet Witch, Agent Jimmy Woo, He Who Know Remains, and the classic Loki in order to build him. Then we got a comic based Avengers wave with Puff Adder from the Surface Society as your build a figure. It's a really cool wave right here. In order to fill in some holes that you might have and some D characters. But there's your Puff Adder build a figure. All the figures in package. I think the only one you don't need is Extremist Iron Man in order to build it. But yeah, there's the Puff Adder wave. Next we have a X-Men wave with Chod, Chode, Chod, whatever you want to call him. With his little pet there, which was teased by Dwight. Kree. I do not like the color on this child figure. Very, very much use of the Abomination build a figure. I wish there was a lot more sculpt on here. That he'd give us some of the fins there on the on his arm, but there should have been a lot more yellow on this figure. But yeah, there's the X-Men wave. Six figures to build. There's also a Cyclops figure that you don't have a build a figure piece for. Astonishing Cyclops and Emma, you got the Corsair, Kid Omega, Monet, Chamber, and Fang. So there's all the packages, plastic free again, back of the packages. 
there's that full wave with all the build figure pieces each comes with. So here are all of the this iteration of Marvel Legends minus the MCU versions. We'll show that in a, in a minute here. But these are all of the comic based build figures after the Infinity series with this new package style. So for the MCU movie Ant-Man and Wasp and Quantumanium, you got a build figure wave here, part comic, part MCU. Interesting, there's another Ultron classic in this wave. You got your Kang, Ant-Man, Wasp, and Stature, or whatever you want to call her, Cassie, in the MCU version, and then you got your comic versions of figures as well. D-listers. As you can see, we got a Cassie Lang build a figure. So a very nice tall figure here for her. Then we got the build a figure herself. So there here you can see the stature. Funny I said stature because that's her name. But it's Cassie Lang here. Compared to the Ant-Man figure. So he comes up to her waist. So a very nice size build a figure there. And there's her face sculpt. So again, if you, as you saw with Kang, it's a uh, very large head sculpt there that's coming with these. So that tells you how big the figure's gonna be. And there she is with the helmet on. Got the nice tennis shoes on there. So here we go with another Guardians. This one is volume three, MCU. Build a figure Cosmo Wave. You can see the Guardians have their uniforms on mostly. So, pretty cool wave, but again, with a tiny build a figure of Cosmo, Adam Warlock, and Kraglin. So, there is your Cosmo build a figure, along with all the packages there. Of course, Star Lord does not need to be bought in order to build the Cosmo. I like the Cosmo, but I cannot believe we're going back to tiny builder figures again. There's Cosmo in action. And it doesn't look like that face shield is articulated for it to come down over his face, but it may be. I hope it is. So yeah, great MCU wave right here. But again, with a tiny build a figure. Hope we're not getting back to this with Hasbro. So there are all of the MCU and Sony build a figures from this point on. So, as a wish list or most wanted list for my most wanted build a figures, I'd love to see armor from the X Men with a build a figure, Lockjaw from the Inhumans. I'd love to see a group with the Guardians of the Galaxy costume on. An awesome Android would be really cool. And hey, how about a Weapon H Hulk? Just my opinion. If we build a figures, let me guys let me know what you guys think. And here is every single build a figure that has been made by Marvel Legends, Toy Biz, and Hasbro so far. So many build a figures. Do you have them all? Did you have them all? Have you had them all? I have not. I did not get to get all of them. There's a few that I never touched. I have sold a lot in the meantime, but it's awesome that we have gotten this many Builder figures in our packages. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel for every day. Hit that thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.